Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the Aztec Sunset Invasion attempt. We've won four wars with England so far. Haven't taken that much land. We took Colombia from them, and we took the northeast up here from them. And that worked out quite well in our favor. Hurons have some rebels. Fun. Iraq did finish westernizing and then immediately collapsed to rebels. And again, I'm just going to reiterate that I really don't think you should be able to continue your westernization progress, like it should pause, whenever you have rebels. Because he had rebels just completely siege him up, and after he westernized, after it finished, then he collapsed to the rebels. And they were reactionaries. They were trying to stop westernization, but they failed because westernization finished before they could enforce their demands. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Welcome back. Secrets in our alliance, I don't care. We completely cock-blocked Spain down here, so he can't get up here. Next thing we need to do is cock-block Spain in Venezuela, so that he can't get over here either. And then we can just colonize this at our leisure. There's no rush. And we're also going to try to fill in some of the coastline here so we can link up these lands. We're converting a lot of the lands we took from Quito. It's a slow process, but we're getting there. Ooh, Rebels are at 80%. Susquehannock. Alright, I guess I can fund the army for you. Be swift about it. We'll you just go ahead and spawn. That'd be nice. Would you be a, would you be a, a gem and just spawn already? Hey, technology. All right, tech 16. Actually, that's going to give us corruption if I do that. I probably shouldn't do that. All right, I guess we'll go for ideas. To prevent increased corruption, I will take ideas. One of the toughest things to deal with when your economy is crap is corruption. Because it, the only way to fix corruption is with lots of money. And if you don't have a very good economy, then you're not going to have lots of money. Well, it looks like Pasai has conquered Malacca and Ayathaya. This is Pasai here. He's doing great. Other than that, everything looks very normal. Looks like Ming is still in control of all of the south. Yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't exploded yet. And it looks like Khmer has conquered Champa. Oh, good for you. Bengal has taken over Arakan. And Malwa is in control of central India, whereas Delhi has firm control of northern India. And who's this? Oh, still Delhi. It looks like Arissa is all but dead. Malwa, Arissa, Malwa, Malwa, Arissa. Yeah, Arissa's dead. Pretty much. All right, come on, spawn. Ooh, autonomy, I don't care. Spawn. Nope, you're at 80%. All right, let me let me lower funding until they get 90%, because they're just not there yet. I really need to go back to making money. We have three colonies going. Two of them have a colonist helping them out. One does not. Which is part of the reason why it's so expensive to colonize. Because uh, we're over our colonial limit. I guess I could get rid of this level 2 guy. He's not super necessary. Yeah, alright. Save a little cash. I wish I could afford just level 3 everything while we're trying to catch up on tech. But it's just not something we can do. There we go, Diplotech 13. That'll cancel the corruption we were getting. Good. So corruption is now going down again. Fantastic. Nova Scotia is looking great. 
I hope our alliance with Scotland is going to last a while, because he's doing quite well over here. And I also hope we can get alliances with France and Sweden, but our pirating is actually pissing them off. We keep getting pop-ups to piss off Caribas. And every time it says piss off Caribas, I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? I don't care what Caribas thinks. But it's not just Caribas. We're piss off everyone who's on this trade note. That includes France right there. And that includes Scotland. And that includes Sweden. So all three guys that I'm trying to get alliances with get pissed off every time I click that button from that event. So I should probably find some other way to make money than pirating. There's got to be something better. I don't really think collecting here is going to work, but perhaps we can try using our fleets in Panama instead, because Panama has a few ducats in it. Hopefully we can convert some of these English lands soon. Stupid Protestant religion is hard to get rid of, though. Importing iron. Gain mercantilism. Not bad. Oh, goodness. He needs influence. Ay, 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 ay. He still needs more influence. Are you kidding me? I can't recruit a uh, inflation guy because they need at least 40 influence. I guess I can give him these lands up here. I might as well. Oh, they're not states. Hmm. Yeah, it's worth it. That'll increase our strength on this trade node by quite a bit. And now the nobles are upset. Well, of course they are. They're nobles. That's the noble's job. The noble's job is to get upset. I guess I can give him some of this crap land over here. Here you go. Are you happy? Yeah, they're fine now. Hey, we finished Pipil. Nice. Very nice. All right, so that's done. We can't do Zaraza until Janos finishes, which means we should probably get started up here. Yeah. Now, I could walk all the way up, but I think it makes more sense just to use some troops that are already up here. Do we want Merrimack? It's not necessary. Let's let's connect up our lands more than anything else. Let's get Lenape going. Actually, Delaware is 10 development. That's nice. Delaware, shit. Yeah, Lenape is a estuary, so I definitely want to get that. Another loan? Ah, looks like we're taking another loan, folks. I'll just leave this alone for a while and hopefully... Hopefully... Okay, rip him out of there. Let's go finish the colony in... Yurimaguas. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll get enough money to cover this pop-up so that we don't have to actually take a second loan. Really don't want to take a second loan. Yeah, I think we're good. 
340 ducats. Yeah, we're good. Whew, just barely. So expensive. Poland is westernizing. Okay. Probably shouldn't start westernizing if you have rebels, but eh, whatever. Still can't rival Portugal. Man, these Susquehannock rebels just don't want to spawn, do they? Oh shit, our general died? My goodness. We can't even recruit another one for four years. Oh god. Okay, and all the other rebels are now going to start spawning again. Why don't you make states? Because we don't have any freaking admin points. I'm making them when I can afford to, but for the most part, we don't have enough admin. Hey, Bengal. Oh, this is Chanda. I thought this was Malwa. Chanda. Hello, Chanda. Looks like the Hindus have one out in India. Well, South and Central India Hindus have one. Northern India is still controlled by the Sunnis. Hey, hey, we got production efficiency plus 10%. Floating gardens. The stunning artificial islands we have learned to build in the Lake of Mexico are not merely a great architectural feat, but a great source of agricultural production, feeding our capital. Very nice, except our capital doesn't li isn't there anymore. Yeah, floating gardens, that's pretty cool. Okay, learning about Southeast Asia. There's that giant Pasai we discussed. England and Portugal are both here. That's interesting. And Lanzong has conquered Dai Viet. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen Lanzong do anything. Give France more maps? Why not? It'd be nice if you gave a, if you got a relationship bonus for giving maps to people, but you don't. There's no relationship bonus. Oh, fuck me. England just colonized over here. England... Gosh darn it, you just can't leave good enough alone, can you, you little shitbag. What a fucker. Look at, he just colonized three in a row. Fuck you. Son of a bitch, England. You greedy little shit. I won't have my 13 colonies again. You, you took away my 13 colonies. You done did done to do the little doodle it. Bastard. I guess what I should do is grab Potomac. If I take Potomac, that'll completely cut him off from going north. Yeah, that's probably what we should do. He's just connecting our lands for us. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's kind of true. I mean, if you're under the assumption he'll declare a fifth war, you're probably right. He probably will declare a fifth war. Okay, we're almost done in y Yurtimaguas, which will prevent Spain from getting north. There we go, done. So now we can take this little happy army and head up here. You guys can also head up here. Actually, well, I gotta decide. Should I try to fill this in or should I start on the coast? Because Spain's already here, which means if I don't start on this, He's going to block us off. I need to get these two. If I get these two, then I can block them off. Well, those two and then the entire coast. I think I need to start up here. We got to get these two and then come down the coast. Because he's going to get California. I don't mind that. You can have California. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. But I need to block off all this shit.
All right, can we make another state here? Just keep giving all these wonderful estuaries and shit away. Oh look, the religious people are upset. Here you go. Actually, where, where are we converting? We're converting in Gujara. And as long as the religious people are happy... Oh god, 170 ducats to make them happy. Okay, done. It'll help with conversion. Quite a bit. It's important we get shit converted, because once we convert it, we can cultural convert it as well. And once it's cultural converting, then they're just not going to re rebel, like, ever. Hmm, stability or money? Probably stability. Takes so long to get over here. It's ridiculous. Get that new world charter going. Give this to the merchants. Who's upset now? The nobles are upset again. Big fucking surprise. Choco. Dangerous height. Well, we just got free stability, so let's let's lose some stability. Sounds about right. Easy come, easy go. Alliance? No. Alliance? No. How close are we to an alliance? Pretty far. Just gonna keep trying. I mean, there's no reason. There's no harm in trying. Now the religious want more stuff. Oh Jesus! Compensate the traders. Yes. France declared war on Austria. What? I thought you were allied to Austria. Apparently not. France declared for Myland. Where the fuck is that? Oh, Milan. Wait, what? Come again? French reconquest of Myland. You do not have a core there, France. Oh! France's vassal! Right! France vassalized Savoy. And Savoy has cores all over the place. So France is declaring for his vassal's land. Interesting. That's something a player would do. Oh, France, you clever girl. Clever girl. Trying to give some more land away, but I need some more points to core it. It's kind of the sad part of making states, it costs so many points to core this shit. I probably should go back to focusing admin. I mean, it stinks that our leader is just so terrible at admin, because we need admin. You always need admin points, no matter who you are.
Finish your mission? What the hell's our mission? Remove Keto from the map. Eh, who cares? What's our final bonus here? National manpower plus 25? That's pretty good. Pop, nice. Okay, we arrived in Kumie. Fantastic. Huh? Britain actually had rebels. He actually had rebels. That's uh it's a really rare thing to see. AI getting rebels. In the colonies, I mean. God, our nobles are still upset. Stop being upset, nobles. There you go. Now they're fine. The uncolonized land looks like a dolphin. What? Oh, this area. Yeah, I guess it sort of does. No, it looks more like a killer whale, I think. Hey, we can culture convert. Hell yeah. I probably should have taken religious since we're doing a ton of culture conversions. And really just makes it 25% cheaper. Yeah, we need to beat Spain to the wasteland here. And we gotta get this whole coastline. It's a tall order. Anyone gone friendly yet? Nope. Nope. Nope, no friendly yet. Hmm, Poland's got rebels. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, rebels have spawned for the 13 colonies. Fund the army. Kick the ass. Oh, right, we can't get a guy. Oh, yeah, we can. It's been enough time. Get a guy. He's got lots of maneuver. That's nice, I guess. All right, where's the next rebels? Susquehannock, all right. Oh, we discovered Australia. Hello. How's it going? And we paid back our loan. Good times. All right, let's get some more temples. Tempulo. We need those, those serious ducat. More ducat. All ducat. Ducat, ducat. Please, more ducat. More ducat. Austria will, will give Malin to Savoy and war reps. And that's it? Just Malin and war reps. All right, fair enough. It's a really big province, right? Yeah, 33 development. Yeah, if he took any more than that, it probably would have been a coalition time. Oh, I take that back. Apparently, taking 33 developments from Austria 
only gave France 15 aggressive expansion on Austria. Are you kidding me? If you as the player had taken Milan, 33 development, you would have gotten a lot more than 15 aggressive expansion. You probably would have had like 45. That, that is ridiculous. Yeah, I know it was Reconquest. It still shouldn't have been 15. That's so cheap. Hmm. So he's continuing these two, but he's ignoring the one that he started originally. That's weird. Alright, let's get Potomac going before he gets there. Uh, where can I steal a colonist? Kumie. No. Can't steal from Kumie. It takes too long to get there. Spain's embargoing me. That's okay. Yeah, 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 whatever. Check for influence ideas. Let's see. Yep, influence seven. So he's got really big reduction in uh, aggressive expansion from that. Influence is 20% reduction. Lucky Nation, I think, is 10% reduction. Maybe it's more. And then, of course, Reconquest makes it 25% cost for aggressive expansion. So that's why it's so cheap, but it's still crazy cheap. Protestant Zealots. Oh, really? Where are they? Choco and Bogota. Well, Bogota is going to be the big one, right? Yeah, 14. Yeah. Bring it on me, Protestant Zealots. My body is ready. Oh, he's huge. He's conquered some land. That is a big Ming. And it looks like Cochin's doing all right. Was that, is that their name? Cochin? Yeah, I think Cochin is up there. Ming's allied to Korea. Yep, figures. So that'll force England to fill in this area instead of doing north. Yeah, he's already got a colonist on the way. And there. Okay, good. Yeah, you can fill in all this. I don't give a shit. Just don't go to Yunami. That's mine. I can't really afford to do another colony. So hopefully he doesn't take any of that shit. I just need him to not take Yunami and that'll link up everything. France declared on Cusco, so that's going to be the end of Cusco, probably. Well, no, because he can't get to here. Well, he might still be able to take it, we'll see. Alright, let's get our next idea before I do any more culture conversions, because a third colonist makes a big deal, big difference. Get some more temples going. Nine point nine ducats a month, not bad. Not 
great, but not bad. And these Protestant zealots just are refusing to spawn. They just don't care. Scotland has declared war on England. Does England have no al England has no allies? <laughs> ah. Sure, I'll join the war. Let me settle these provinces as desired. Desired. So anything he possibly could colonize, I'll set as desired. Now, most likely, I won't have to do a damn thing like sail over to England. I'm not going to do that. But I do have transports, so if... If Scotland can handle England's navy, then I will sail over there. Because I do have some transports of my own. But that's probably just not going to happen. Sup, douchebag? Next rebels are Totemic Zealots and English Separatists in Connecticut. All right, so we don't really need you down here. Let's go chill in Antiochia. I have 0% participation for sieging that shit. Sounds about right. And it looks like England's navy has trounced the Scottish and Swedish navies. So, yeah. I'm not going to go over there. Okay, colony done. Let's go block off Castile. I don't really need to fill in this area. What's these dates over here look like? Upper Guyana. Eh, probably just never make that a state. Just leave all this alone. I will grab this, though. You can just steal colonies. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I want to. I mean, that's going to ruin my economy if we do that. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time where we'll try to compete with Spain to get to the Wasteland Great Basin here. If we can get Cahuila, then we'll have blocked off this area successfully. Then we just need to get this coastline. One, two, three, four provinces. And uh, Spain will be out of luck. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.